I plan to say, you know, some, something about every you know, not many people in the room, so I'll try to keep it short and try to, you know. The first thing is, you know, uh, last year, IGO created a um, professional marketing company to help us shape up our uh, social networking strategy. Marketing, uh, things like that. So, so that our footprint in the web to be increased. So I asked them to come over to the connected grounds and say, uh, guys, give your presentation and make your, you know, make a proposal to us on what we'd like to, uh, to do. Because we do not know anything about social media. We do our stuff. So you are the guys. So they were preparing me some presentation. And um, one of the things that um, were started to ask me, yeah, we would like to, you know, create some other case, case studies about other, you know, companies, uh, organizations like you on the web to see and match uh, your strategy or the proposal strategy that we have for you uh, with others. And then, you know, kept asking, so are you like, they were, you know, browsing the web, Google it. Said, are you like i boy? Yeah, yeah, no, no, not exactly. You know, yes, yes, but you know, we have some this difference. Are you like ISO? Yes, yeah, no, but so in the end, the story is, IHG is very unique because it has very specific things that uh, no other kind of SDO in the world has. For instance, the connector is, is one of these assets there. So, you know, we have to build on this uniqueness here, and uh, and the fact that uh, not now because the room is not. One of the things I've seen, the room is full, and the room is not full anymore, but let's say the room was full. Uh, it's it's um, a good element of uh, the, to my, to me, the good element of, to, to measure the maturity where IG in general has achieved. I mean, if uh, some of this, this room had been from the beginning and uh, seen 21 countries in a one in one of the two days is, I think, a very good testament to the fact that we have achieved some kind of maturity around the world. But this also is, I think, and, and it's a process that started with, and I think Mike also said that before, um, with the strategic retreat we had, which, uh, which was outstanding, I must say, uh, seeing the, both in the way it's being managed and the outcome, I would say. Because, um, we are kind of getting in a phase two, if ever being a phase one, okay? Phase two of ING, where we have to outreach uh, to new, new, uh, and expand ourselves to new uh, frontiers. And uh, some of these frontiers have been uh, mentioned here. I will not make a uh, complete list, because I don't have it. But I, some, some of the things have uh, struck me um, so, you know, one of the things was, you know, it's, it's the expansion of the marketing, which one of the things that, you know, yesterday we had a very interesting um, session on this, where, you know, how we can go deeper and broader uh, on marketing, how we can, you know, uh, leverage each other's efforts. For instance, one of the things that comes to my mind, you know, is, uh, is that uh, we have, you know, some marketing people doing things and maybe we'll be working uh, on an operational level coming mean, to the US, not just on the committee level, because that is easy. And um, other things that are, you know, is the expansion on the on the on the territories. Uh, there's been a discussion this morning in the session uh, on, on deployment about local and middle income countries and that they're committed, you know, some interesting points all across the spectrum of the panels in, in the last in the last two days about how this is a very emerging, emerging uh, in, in, in element in our, in our um, and has to find a place in our strategy. And that also led to the fact that uh, uh, the activities of our champions has also, as uh, Australia has acknowledged that uh, the needs that uh, from <coughs> the last mile thing to get from, yes, I recognize that she does the proper answer for some or all my needs, the country level of all of us, to get from there to full established or uh, starting some kind of operation in a country, 
take so the last mile. The last mile is something that uh, some of our champions have done very well in these years. And maybe we have to think about that in terms of how to structure or you know, give more recognition or you know, look at that and those elements. And uh, other things we were talking about domains, for instance, and um, uh, elements that have been you know, put on the table, like, uh, you know, uh, we have a lot of, of, of integration profile coverage, that's true. Uh, and then someone has said, um, you know, for some specific uh, uh, projects or needs, Maybe we need also a, a layer on top where we can provide a guide. I don't say an integration profile or integration profile then because that is probably too much. But I would say that guide for helping people choosing and matching the correct integration profiles for specific higher level missions. And that is specifically true in those, in those places where uh, you know, uh, availability of IG and standard knowledge is not widespread. We have to carry in mind that always that not every country in the world has the same level of access to the basic knowledge needed to understand. Yes, IG publishes in the in, in, in the public domain uh, integration profiles, but reading them, understanding, and more and more deploying them, it takes it takes a little bit. It takes a little bit of knowing of things. So there is something where the champions and you know. Uh, some material that we could work on uh, as a way to communicate better could do something there. Um, I don't have very much more to say on what I have witnessed today and yesterday and uh, I decided to say that I was so proud and happy to see so many countries and so many people, a lot of debate on some of the things I don't think that we come out from here with very actionable items, but very much with much clearer understanding of each other's needs and where we have to focus our efforts and and drive some of the proposal for getting actionable action items in the, in, the, in, the, in the short and the long term. And one of the things that will happen in, in, in the next next uh, weeks is also that. One of the first steps is that there is a certification work group in the IG International Board, and that will have to engage you as IG National Initiative to get feedback and uh, on, on, on this a very important topic for, for the board. I would like to also to engage you in a final round of remarks because I don't want to have the privilege of giving all the, the truth and, and for everybody, I want to listen also what are briefly your takeaway points and this two days, what you have learned, what you have discovered, because I think that we have discovered something and that maybe, maybe that's something that uh, is what that, uh, we share once again. And this is a war summit, the first one, this, the next one will be where, we don't know, but in an area the same maybe. Um, we have to work from the, from tomorrow for building the next war summit, taking treasure of what have achieved today, but the work summit is about sharing and one-to-one, -one, group to group inter in, 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 uh, interaction. Thank you. And I, who is the first one that like to share some type of takeaway points from what I have witnessed, learned, or discovered in these two days?
It was the first time for me as new president of IG in Switzerland to contribute to an international event like this and it, uh, of, it seems to be the first worldwide uh, summit that we had and I, I really enjoyed this gathering together of 21 countries. But as I'm impressed, I'm also a little bit surprised, surprised that such, such a huge initiative like IG has such a, a thin financial basis. The financial basis comes only from the national bodies and that there is nothing ahead in Europe or international. And I'm a little bit scared about the future, the financial sound basis of uh, yeah, my comment to that is that you have to also remember the fact that the, one of the foundational things that uh, has distinguished IG is that we have done so much work on a voluntary basis. Voluntary work is a, you know, is a, is a very important part of us. But you're also right in the fact that uh, some of the tasks that we are facing now are more operational and less, you know, like for instance the marketing or, or the accounting or financial things. And that requires also um, some you know, dedicated professionals to do that. Because uh, we cannot let the time for okay. one thing is being a champion or having a uh, build a integration uh, profile. Another thing is of course doing the legwork, scribbling down invoices and things like that. Uh, I think Chris, that uh, the Financial Sustainability World Group is, is, is also taking away very good points about this because I mean, uh, IG Group has faced this and since I've been uh, uh, elected president of IG Europe, you know, uh, I still started working on shaping out that my organization was a little bit different and so the contribution there, but I think that is something that we should, we should work on for the next yeah, thank you for raising that point. I think um, that you should not be too concerned about the financial stability of IG and of IG International in particular. Um, you point out correctly that the source of revenue for IG is the activities of deployment that take place at the national level. The Connecticut here and the Connecticut the US, uh, North America are the primary engines of commerce of IEG. Um, and they they are, I think, a sustainable, they've proven to be a, uh, you know, this is now, um, is this the 11th? Okay. Well, the European, 11th well, European. European 13th. 13th, sorry. Um, yeah, and um, uh, IG USA, IG North America, sorry, just had its, these activities has grown, um, and I think the efficiency of putting them on is uh, as well. Um, we are looking at diversifying services within um, the national deployment committees that stage connect with us. Um, I think IT Europe and IT services has the establishment of IT services has been a good step in that direction. In North America, we've partnered with some other um, users of testing <coughs> services, um, other standards organizations, and with uh, um, groups funded by our national electronic health record program. And I think there's a huge potential for expanding IHG's role in validation, testing, and uh, services. So, and, and really the, the um, when you talk about the thin layer of financial support, there's also, by design, a thin layer of financial need at the, at the international level. So the activities of IHG International are by intention, um, kind of limited to being the umbrella group for national deployment committees and um, domain development committees, and being the copyright holder, so really the publisher of IEG's technical specifications. So we really coordinate activities and um, publish the documents. Uh, so its needs are relatively modest as well. And um, as uh, we've mentioned, Financial Sustainability Work Group. I think that we're pretty confident that there is revenue in the IEG model to support this going forward without the kind of beneficence of uh, sponsoring organizations to contribute their dollars and resources. So I would put it
put your, your that concern at rest a little bit. And if I can just very briefly start talking about my takeaways from this, I think um, it was very interesting to hear some of the challenges that are being faced in some countries to implementing IG. They're very familiar. We, we've heard them, you know, experienced them for years in the U.S. and I've heard them from uh, countries around the world. But also, I think really the successes, some of the tremendous successes that um, uh, particular countries have had in implementing IG and really using it as a foundation for um, their national electronic health record programs, however they might describe those. Um, and uh, uh, you know the, the challenges and the successes, and I think really the opportunities hearing about areas where IG can provide value to um, additional uh, constituents, new groups uh, that, that can be brought into the process. So I feel tremendously energized by the meeting, and um, I think that's all. Thank you, Chris. Uh, what? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for um, the, the opportunity to be here with you. This has been my first time at the uh, World Summit. Obviously, it's the first World Summit, so but um, it's also the first time for me at Connected. So, um, uh, so it's been a very uh, tremendous learning experience. I have been involved in the eHealth standards since probably September of last year, so I'm a very new uh, student in the eHealth universe. So, but thanks to, um, I've also been fortunate enough to work with Charles very closely uh, within the uh, Soviet project, the EHEP project. Uh, just a uh, point of clarification, I'm not trying to speak on their behalf, it's my own personal opinion. So I work for GE Healthcare, and uh, we have been uh, supporting them in the EHEP standards, and Charles has been the brain and the mastermind of uh, everything that we have been doing in Soviet. Uh, what I want to let go is that uh, some of the comments made by you, Michael, uh, this afternoon about two things. Supporting the IRG at the national level, which is truly a very uh, important thing to do. But the second thing, I hope that the next summit will be, as you said, uh, encompassing the uh, Ministry of Health everywhere. Because I think that uh, looking at the Saudi uh, experience, and again, it's my own personal observation, I think they need the support with all the support that we can get from IHG, moving one word. Obviously, with the, uh, with the presence of uh, Charles again, uh, it's a tremendous asset, a big asset for, for the project. But still, I think the IHG support is needed for the facility uh, to know uh, about the, uh, all the different national initiatives that's been going on for so many years, because sometimes they feel that uh, and they need to make progress as soon as possible uh, for some political reasons or some political gains. But the true, the true fact is that uh, on the ground, things are different. So, uh, I know that uh, more than being in here, I've learned so much, so much about the different national programs as well. So hopefully that will change their attitude towards achieving things so fast or immaturely and just learn from the others' experiences and so on and so forth. So, I'm grateful for the opportunity and uh, wish you all the best. Hopefully I'll be also contributing uh, as time goes by uh, with everything I can do as part of the G and so thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Yeah.
but I think we're putting success stories up uh, and, uh, so that we, we actually can point to, uh, to use cases and, uh, and uh, we learn from those sort of things. Uh, and I think uh, IT is about solving problems and, and in every country there are new problems occurring that uh, need to be solved. Unfortunately, the people who have the problems often don't know about IT and that's a challenge if we can somehow market ourselves as a low cost first it's the drug solution. If you lose your keys in the car park at night, where do you look first? Under the street map. You know? and, and so, because it's easy, if the keys are there, then you've got your solution. And so, Fire would be seen as the go to first solution for solving interoperability problems or complex business problems in mobile IT. At least, uh, you know, uh, you know, that would get us a look in the door and uh, an opportunity to actually at least tell people about the methodology even if they're not going to do it within the RT framework. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so success stories, uh, working out how we do that, go to people. Uh, I think we're now that we know each other face to face, uh, communication will certainly be easier and uh, once the lists are you know, made more available, uh, and we'll start by posting to them and uh, creating some traffic. And I lastly I hope that uh, if people come to ISO in Sydney, for example, if you have some early indication of which IG you can come in, you can then potentially <coughs> that to create uh, an IG focused event, uh, perhaps. Because uh, again, the experts from outside are much more powerful than, than locals. And so uh, maybe that's what we need to be doing, thinking about it, since we, uh, those of us who are in working in different environments, ISO or uh, HSO, Start thinking about contacting the local employment group. Uh, if if uh, I say in a particular country, or and say, well, I'm coming, or, or if you happen to be coming to, uh, to another country for some reason, uh, not business, not even the holiday, uh, it could be opportunities to leverage that. And because we're a low cost organisation, we actively leverage these opportunities. Uh, and uh, it also creates interest for us, uh, those that are travelling away to, 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 to do something they might not expect to do. So uh, it's only encouraged people to, uh, to communicate with us in Australia and uh, if you are coming over our way and, uh, and we can start with the ISO meeting uh, as we're coming with this time. Well, yeah, I, if, you, if I start talking about IG in my older days, I would be coming back a lot. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> But uh, yes, uh, I mean, the one thing that we have exchanged today is also very good for those, for those of us that are champions that are going around and trying to pitch for IG places. So we have also very good stories and points uh, and reference, uh, good reference uh, places and, and, and projects. And that is a very important thing also that has been achieved here. Is there any animals that are yes. more? No. Short. Uh, for me, it was my first connector. Connector. Um, I sent it to Google as a monitor. It seems a very positive uh, event. It's also an educational moment. Probably is that a suggestion to do something with it together with the university to see if you can get more people to see that event. It's very nice. Other things for me to uh, take home message is how we involve uh, the end user and then. It's still a problem for me also in the Netherlands. We have six projects which are some national projects about screening programs, a lot of about HDA, uh, or HDS, uh, and other uh, programs. But the clinical end user doesn't know it. So we need more ambassadors. We started together with the IT the Netherlands program to start up IT ambassadors. And we are now looking mostly for those clinical physicians uh, who can make a difference for us in sending out the message. I think there's a couple of things that I've sort of taken away from here has been most of the current aspects we have. One is the, you know, there's been a clear focus on primary adoption, which I think is as well. Um, the second is the, the effort that's being made to uh, move forward IHE as an organisation to the, um, the, the way in which I 
actually works, um, not only to be more efficient, to cope with funding changes, but also to, to look forward to, um, uh, as an organisation, coping with the changing way that uh, healthcare is going to be in the future. So, both, both in terms of the, the early, the early pieces up to the last year, but also now with the, the World Center, I'm sure we want to be a much better, much more understanding both of uh, how IHG works, but also much more confidence, confidence in the future of IHG uh, as, a, as an organization, organization actually standards, as, as, a, as a set of standards which are, which not only have relevance, but will have increasing levels of relevance in the future. So I'm uh, very pleased to have
I, I know that you're also grappling with <coughs> testing and certification at uh, ICSA Labs in conjunction with uh, IEG USA uh, launched our pilot. Uh, but I would also like you to uh, uh, take advantage of sharing uh, our, our expertise and experience, not just around uh, what we're doing with IEG USA, but <coughs> just from a general sense. And uh, from my perspective, uh, there, there's a community part of that is, uh, is, that goes along with that. It gives the experience and the expertise as you will, but I uh, think is another point of interest on uh, somebody who's been in the business for 27 years. But thank you for having us. Thank you very much, George. <coughs> Any other comments? Charles? To reflect on some of Chris Carr's comments, uh, finance has never been this important like process is. And we've always assumed from the start that if we had a reasonable process, people would engage with what we see value. Then, I mean, people working, we would get a result. And then we would organize things, we would put the bureaucracy in place because we need so, otherwise, things won't happen. And I think that uh, that's been important, because especially in an area where many organizations have promised a lot and delivered little, we've kind of taken the approach of being stepwise, incremental in what we deliver, in what we prove, in what we test, and how we work. And I think we need to, uh, we need to keep that spirit and have everybody realize that if you disengage, the whole thing may crumble. And if everybody is engaged, the whole thing is crumble. If we don't get it, it's fine. But if it does a good job, then we should attract more people and they will engage and provide the resources. So we are a people networking exercise. But I keep on saying inside Chinese all the time is we will never network the system if most don't network the people first. But are in charge of the system. It's true when you a product, it's true when you have a project, it's true uh, in that business of interoperability. People are the barrier. They are the one that are not doing what they ought to do, or they want to understand what they ought to do, or they are inventing variants and preventing things from growing. So I think to me, this has been the, 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 the greatest thing is to have a concentrate of people really <coughs> doing uh, doing today's. Yes, it's going to be achieved that how many miles flying into how many meetings and conferences around the world we've been able to congregate in one place and have a high density of, uh, of that type of uh, that type of share. My last comment goes back to your I believe that this event will not happen if you do not have said, I will make it happen. And when I saw your say, I will make it happen, I sat here and I said, this is too big. I don't even know how to help it. And I did not help it until the end, where I was like you, saying, well, it's going to happen. <laughs> we better join. And I believe, and you cannot believe how many things in IG have happened with a funny combination of one champion that was pulling, that everybody was watching, checking, advice, criticizing. But he was pulling, and in the end, many rallied and supported. And I think to me this is a typical example, and, and we ought to encourage this. Leadership initiative is important. And I'm almost wondering, and I want folks to kind of reflect on, should this be an event we grow in numbers, or should this be an event we grow in leadership and power? So in other terms, should we say what we want here is to have 30 countries represented with the effective leadership and we have in each one of those countries by three or four people. Three or four people, 30 countries, that's 90, 220. And I think we should not shoot for more than that. We need to keep our effectiveness in, in a sense adding to the density rather than adding to the numbers. Maybe we should, do not really need an educational event per se. It may be an educational event in parallel. 
But I, I have sense that we've achieved something because we had people that were in leadership position and the various aspects and we complemented ourselves each other uh, that way. So that kind of a reflection or a question that I'm asking in the future. It's not easy to answer, but let's think about it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Charles. Any? You almost everyone spoke, so yeah. I think there is nobody else. Mm -hmm. So that's you're good. You're the last thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love speaking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, George kind of, kind of stole my one last thing, uh, which was the round of applause for, for Jürgen. We really did this, so I leave to Jürgen. Thank you very much for leading this. Uh, Yes, uh, thank you for your applause. Uh, as, uh, as Charles said, it actually happened like this. Um, we generated this idea in a basically very small group. And you know, that's always like, in IG it's always like happening in this way. Someone has an idea, all tapping on his shoulders, say, that's a brilliant idea. Could you please work it out? Then this one starts working out, making slides, or say, yeah, it's a good idea. still a good idea, continue to work it out, <laughs> make more slides, more detailed slides. And so you slip into this process and become the leadership of this work items. I have experienced that uh, way of procedure now many times in IG. And I think it's right, I agree to Charles, it's the right way to do this, because you need one who says, okay, this is my thing. I, I declare myself responsible for this thing and, uh, and starts doing it and starts taking the work, on, uh, the, the work on his shoulders. And by time, he gets, or she gets followers and helpers and in the end, usually, uh, this work item gets uh, completed. That's the same on a strategic level, it's the same in the development domains. I, I've seen that everywhere in IG. I think that's good. So I'm not complaining that it was a lot of work because I volunteered to do it, so what shall I say? Uh, in the end, I'm now very happy that uh, obviously uh, the Lord Summit hit his target. I think uh, at least the feedback I got here on the site was in the way that uh, they all have said yes. That was good. We had a lot of communication. We felt good. We felt convenient. It was a good mixture between exchange of information, having statements, listening to statements, analyzing statements, giving statements uh, yourself, and also enjoying yourself in the social events and with others. Basically, we have done hard work. Yesterday, the whole day was quite so my life. I felt with myself how tired I was in the evening. But it's a, it's a way it's different than a working group meeting because you don't feel that you work. In a working group meeting, you feel that you work because it's named working group meeting. <laughs> so this is a summit we have actually worked hard, but we did not feel so. We also had our, our excitement in the evening on the boat, and that's right. It was exactly me in the way it has happened, and that's for me is the most Yes, reward of the of the work. So by that, thank you to you uh, being here. Also those uh, who had far way to go, Asia, US. For us, European, it was a little bit easier to come here. Uh, also thanks to the Turkish host. Without their help, and especially without uh, the help of our travel agency, Atix Travel. Thank you. Who have done a brilliant job in helping organizing that and submit without you, no chance. They were very reactive and solved every issue in, I don't know, seven hours, and there were many issues uh, because this is usually an event like this. So I have the host, I have the travel agency, I have you. So I come to the close. Uh, just some logistics from now. We close now, uh, and there will be buses outside. Um, I think it's two big buses going back to the hotel, and it's one small bus going on the city tour. 
Uh, we have still some seats on this small bus, so if one of us, uh, one of you decides ad hoc to enter the seat too, it's still possible. Just enter the bus, uh, have a list, and add it to the list. I think it costs 42 euros, or something like that. You will get that invoice if you if you uh, decide to do so. The buses will leave on 3:30. Especially the city tour bus will leave sharp because we need the time to make the city tour. <laughs> so make your shake hands and then be ready to enter the bus at the right time. Could I suggest that you ask how many people are going to take the buses? I Which personally I'm person? staying at the connector farm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, a number of people may be staying at the connector farm. So you may actually have you know known people for the city tour, but for the other buses it may actually be a much smaller yes. number. Probably, yes. Maybe we don't need the second bus, but we will see. Um, yes, since you gave me so much credit for the work, I have the last favor which you really can do. Buy a t-shirt. <laughs> if you make me really happy, <laughs> really, it's the buy a t-shirt. way to spread around the IG <laughs> To buy it, just put the form, come to me, give me the cash, and can send it. Um, Jürgen, you're the only person in all of Istanbul that is accepting euros, so I don't have any. So, is it possible that we can find other ways to pay, like PayPal or some other way? Unfortunately, I, I don't think so, but you can give me dollars. Canadian <laughs> dollars? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we will find a way, okay? okay. We will find a way. Just approach me. So by that time, finally, really at the close. Thank you again, and the declare closed. Is it said like this? The declare closed the event. Yes. <laughs>